In the last quarter, the most popular video in terms of views has been definitely the Curator Community Edition Install One. And our friend Josh Morin uh, decided that uh, he can make this installation even easier. And in his GitHub, and all the links that are going to be required for following this video are going to be in the video description. So if you go to his uh, GitHub page and click on Curator Community Edition, he has created basically two scripts, selinux.sh and install.sh, that makes this installation even easier. All you have to do is download the package, which I already did. I unzip those, and here they are. Now, his instructions are actually very simple. All you have to do is to move these two shell scripts and the actual Curator CE ISO image that you download, again, from a link that is in the video description into a slash temp directory of your CentOS clean install image. Now, this CentOS image I will provide a link also in the video description, but I have a separate video that shows you how easy it is to download your free CentOS OS and uh, CentOS and then uh, do the installation, give it a network. All that is nicely, hopefully nicely explained on that video. It has been liked by many people, so I guess that it has worked well. So you have your clean CentOS. Now you have to move the shell script and, those, and the ISO image into the temp directory, the TMP directory of that one. So I'm gonna, uh, for, for that I'm gonna use FileZilla to move the files. So I'm here in the TMP directory of my clean uh, sent OS and I need to move these two guys in here that uh, Josh Morin wrote. And here they are. And now I need to move the curator ISO image which I have here, and I'm going to move it. This is going to take maybe a minute or so, so I'm going to pause the video until then. Now that those three files are in the temp directory, we don't need FileZilla anymore. We need now to SSH into the CentOS machine. I'm moving to the temp directory, the TMP directory. And here we have them. And this is as easy as executing the first one, the SE Linux. And this is going to uh, disable something. If you if did the manual install, you know that there's something you need to disable and uh, do a reboot. And the, this simple shell script is going to do that for us. So it's rebooting the actual machine. And because the machine rebooted, we need to SSH into it again. Now that we are back into the CentOS image, all we need to do is execute this install. And this is going to do several things. I'm actually going to measure the time that it takes. We're going to see a uh, I'm going to post a video, but uh, we will see that there are uh, some manual steps, very trivial to do. Basically, hit enter, 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 and specify a DNS resolver, and then the process is going to continue. So I'm going to post a video until that happens, and I'll let you know how long it took to get uh, there. So seven minutes later, you get to the accept the license. You can, you know, read it. But can hit the space bar to see the entire license and if you agree at the very end you type yes or no and then the process continue this is going to be downloading some packages and again the, the estimates that I'm giving you that what it took on my machine are based on my uh, the speed of my internet connection which is not that good where I live, and um, the the machine is actually fairly fairly uh, fairly busy and performs well. But uh, this 
is really dependent on the networking. I'm taking a uh, measurement of the time that this takes and I'm going to pause the video until these uh, steps finishes and we go into those manual steps that I mentioned before. Basically a bunch of enters and selecting your DNS resolver. So around 12 minutes later we arrive to these manual steps which basically I'm just going to be hit enter taking all the default options until I get to this which I'm going to be tabbing into the DNS section and I'm going to put quad 9 9.9.9.9 .9 .9 .9 .9. and I'm going to put the password where I use the tab to move between the fields and I hit enter I tab until the finish and hit enter and then this is going to go for a couple more minutes five more minutes and uh, so I'm going to pause the video again and I'll let you know how long it took to get to the final stage well, around 40 minutes passed, maybe less than that, and uh, the installation finished, so I, we can log in back. We can SSH back into the actual box. We wait a minute or two, and if we go to that URL, HTTPS, and the address of your CentOS machine, we get the login for Curator. And here you have it. I hope that you Consider using these uh, uh, shell scripts to make the installation of your Curator CE even easier. And thanks uh, to Josh Morin for providing those to us.